Imagine tying your shoelaces. But if you think about trying to do that in a chemical world, that's really very hard to do. Now you might ask, why on earth would you care about making a molecular knot? Different sorts of knots have different sorts of characteristics which make them more or less useful for a particular task. So for example, maybe we can use these knotting techniques to braid molecular chains to make new forms of plastic, new forms of Kevlar for example, which are made of uh, polymer chains. Mathematicians have tabulated more than six billion knots, uh, but chemists and scientists have only so far been able to make three or four. The tying of the knots involves the manipulation of the strands making over and under crossings. So the techniques that we're learning about tying molecular knots, we should be able to apply for molecular weaving. And that will allow us to make all sorts of new types of plastics and other kinds of materials that are interwoven and so are, are potentially going to be more flexible or stronger and lighter than the current sorts of polymers and materials and plastics that we have today. We have literally millions of ways of breaking and forming individual bonds. What we struggle at is when we go up to a higher level, into the realm of molecules that are kind of the size of molecules you get in biology, to actually control global architectures. You have to start to exploit bonding interactions which are very weak and therefore very hard to control. Fortunately, here at Manchester, we've got some really talented colleagues who are very good at figuring out what kind of linker units you need, i.e. the laces that you need to tie together and how to get them to do that. Tying molecules into knots is really difficult because the strands are just a few atoms wide, so you can't just grab the ends like you would a shoelace and tie them into the knot. We use metal irons to hold the strands in place while we tie the knot around and then the metal irons fall out of the end and voila, we're left with these tiny knots a few nanometers long. Hopefully this will, in the long run, help us to understand how bigger molecules in more biological contexts can be manipulated. The latest molecular knot we've made has got eight crossings in just 192 atom long strand. So that's just 24 atoms per crossing, so that makes it the tightest physical structure that's ever been tied. Guinness World Records have given us the world record for the world's tightest knot. And it's taken me 53 years, but finally my group and my team, we're a molecule manipulating knot tying record breakers.